नमस्ते बेटियों खुश रहिए आई जी पी मुस्कान कुमारी फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई एम वर्किंग हियर एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन जयपुर विद्यापीठी के एंड फैकल्टी ऑफ एजुकेशन ओके सो नाउ यू टूडेज सेशन इज पास इट इज पास प्लेटफॉर्म एज ए जस्ट प्रीवियस आई हैव डिस्कस द SAS software as a service is now today I am just going to discuss the past what do you mean by the past what is the platform as a service and what the services they are providing what the services are providing by the clouds as a platform isn't it so these all things we will discuss today in this session so for making it to better understand the video I am sharing my word file which is created by me onwards isn't it so just wait for me night so this one is the um, word files uh, of the past services which is provided by the cloud isn't it isn't it now we will discuss these things that what is the platform as a service and what the services is provided by the cloud to working as the platform isn't it so pass is what basically it is a platform as a service this is a cloud computing model where third party providers deliver hardware and software here is the uh, this is a uh, basically a, uh, a platform cloud service are providing a platform where you can deliver the softwares and hardware you it means or the third person can also deliver the softwares and the hardware okay clear so so uh, the pass is a platform which is providing basically the software and hardware as per requirement of the clients to get or according to that you can use the services or the things so in the platform as a service more developer essentially rent everything they can rent everything suppose uh, you have uh, you have made the uh, uh, one room that is full of the server room isn't it and then you have much more cloud uh, storage or you have more uh, storage capacity and you are providing some other persons this facility for the storing the data on the basis of uh, money isn't it on paid basis on paid basis in the sense suppose some customers uh, who require some spaces to uh, save that data they are purchasing with you uh, uh, that much spaces and they are storing that data in your storage devices clear so uh, this uh, you are also uh, i have also discussed in the previous uh, session that uh, uh, banks uh, uh, example is that bank example that what uh, you are are the customers or you are the persons or the consumers uh, customers who are fetching that your ornaments and money as a storage purpose or the security purpose to the bank clear so this is the same thing that uh, that is the a platform that is a bank is a type of the platform where you are providing your important ornaments and money to save that in secure form isn't it so that is a type of platform so uh, this is a also the type of the platform so where uh, the third party can provide you the hardware and software to purchase that on the money based and access the services of that okay so they need to build the applications relying on the cloud providers for the development tools suppose there are some tools which is required to get the that services or the platforms then you can easily use that ones and you can make the infrastructure and also the supporting data of the system so there there are three services uh, models of the cloud service computing in which pass is one services which is largely simplifies the web application pass is basically used for developing the web based applications which is uh, used by the main developers who are using the pass they are purchasing the hardware and the software on web basis virtually and working Making the cloud, now uh, making the cloud-based applications or the web-based applications, isn't it? So, uh, 
from the developer's perspective on the backend management team. This is whatever the requirements, what is the uh, most significant requirements of the customer's team or the developers to design that applications or the project applications they are using. All the services the violation can take care of the services within the first and they access all the hardware requirement and software requirements which is based on their required to develop the applications they are using that all the services from that. Is that it? So although pass has some similarities with the serverless computer. See here is the one term that is the serverless computer. What is the serverless computing? Serverless computing is that uh, you did not require to maintain the cloud data or the uh, not cloud data. You didn't require to maintain your own data, created data, into uh, by using the server. So here you can use the serverless, isn't it? Serverless. Then uh, serverless, you are using your facilities serverless that you do not require any server to store in that data. You can use or store or access the, all the data in the virtual form. Okay. So now, um, now uh, PASS has some similarity with the serverless computing. Uh, there are many critical differences between them. So what is included into the PASS? The main offering included the PASS vendors. PASS vendor in the sense the vendors who are providing the third party versions or the customer services like uh, to access the hardware and to access the software which is on the paid based services. So what are the uh, services are offering there? They are offering you the development tools uh, for the developers to uh, designing the web based applications and they are also providing the middleware isn't it and uh, also providing you the so uh, operating systems the operating system you cannot uh, access or manage anything and kind of perform any tasks isn't it and database management system whenever you are they start to design in the web based application then you have required much more data to store isn't it true then you have to maintain the database so that is that things and the infrastructures where you are using much more data and to store in that thing so that is the infrastructures. Dependent vendors may include other services as well as their core services in the past service. Okay. Now we are discussing these all the points in great detail. Development tools. Past vendors effect offers a variety of tools that are necessary for the software development. Isn't it including the source code editor? You can uh, didn't require to download any software as, uh, for the writing the code. You can directly access the uh, uh, pass off. Also provides you the services like the code editors where you can write any codes which is uh, used for the designing of the web applications. And debuggers who is uh, debugging your code and the compilers who compile your code. And also it's essential tools, much more tools, which you have required for the testing purposes and many more things. That it. These tools may be offered together as a framework. These all tools is just like in the framework, and you are accessing that frameworks in this. These all facilities are included. The specific tools offered will depend on the vendor. Suppose you have required much more advancement tools, then this is based on the vendors that these all facilities has uh, have vendors or not to provide you, isn't it? But pass offering should include everything. But pass, but even the services they are providing in that including everything that the person needs to build their applications. Now the next point is the middleware. What do you mean by the middleware? Platform offers every service usually include the middleware so that developers don't have to build things yet. Isn't it? They didn't require any middleware because platform usually offers you the middleware so that developers don't need to uh, use any other middleware. Middleware is what? What do you mean by middleware? This is just the type of the software so which sits between the user facing applications and the machine operating system. Okay. 
That means this is the type of, uh, which is uh, in between the users and the operating system. Okay, is uh, what allows software to access input. That means it allows you to access the inputs from the keyboard and the mouse. Middleware is necessary for running the applications, but in user don't interact. Okay, now operating system. Operating system is well known to all of you that what is the operating system. So I do not need to explain this. Operating system is what? Pass vendor will also provide and maintain the operating systems that developers work on that. On which operating system, on which environment features of the operating system they want to work on. Is that what they are going to run that operating system for developing the applications, based application. Now the database. Database is what? First, providers uh, administrate them and maintain the database. But the database is required to create and maintain a table for designing the database application. Okay? And they will usually provide the developers with a database management system as well. Infrastructure. What is the infrastructure? Pass is the next layer of from the us. Uh, you all know that uh, the cloud computing services uh, provides the um, three services mainly and but uh, we are reading the four services but mainly on, on three services first is your uh, the bottom layer is your infrastructure as a services uh, middle layer is the pass platform as a services and the topmost is the software as a services and then desktop as a services okay so uh, the pass is the next layer of the pass uh, infrastructure as a services isn't it? So, pass is the next layer of the R's in the cloud computing service model, and everything included in R's is also included in the pass. Whatever the services you will include in the R's, they will uh, be automatically inherited by the pass. Okay, pass provider either in a managed server, they can manage the servers, your storage, and the physical data center, or the purchasing from the R's. Why do developers use pass? Why? Why the pass is basically mainly used by the developers? What is the basic needs of this pass? So I can say that faster in time to market, uh, pass is used to build the applications more quickly than would be possible if developer had to worry about building and configuring and processing their own platform and backend infrastructures. Uh, why we are uh, saying these points that faster time to market? That suppose uh, a project manager has given one project that you have to design these uh, applications, and for designing these applications, you have to in uh, you have to configure all the uh, you have to um, make the configurations regarding that uh, application that you need this hardware and this uh, this software is required for developing the, and this uh, uh, coding editors is required or the software is required to design this web applications. But during the pass, all is available on uh, all is available for the pass providers. So you haven't worried about anything hardware and software requirement. You can easily access from these services. Okay, so you can easily make. Uh, the softwares uh, within the less amount of time and uh, launch that product. So this is the first time to the market that you can launch your products in fast way. Okay, with pass all you need to uh, do is write the code and test the applications and the vendor handles the rest of them. Okay, product. One environment from start to that uh, they are providing you the environments where you are starting your projects and you can start your project then you can complete to the finish of the project there is no editor to do that what you have done in that uh, project or the applications then the pass permits the developer to build this debug and uh, post and update their applications on the same in the same environments so if anybody who wants to debug this uh, and apply that so you can okay. This enables developers to be slow with their application with function properly posted before the You can easily check all the functionality of that 
that applications uh, on these services, on past services, before posting that or the releasing of that product or the applications. And it simplifies the applications to the government plans. Okay, now, uh, the, in the context of the price, what is the context of this? The past is more cost effective. They are cost effective that whatever uh, you require, what the services you are taking from the past, uh, uh, you have only paid regarding that service. So this is the very cost effective. Uh, and cost effective, this is in hours in many cases. Overhead is reduced because past customer don't need to manage. Uh, overhead is uh, resolved. Overhead is reduced. Why? Because past uh, uh, customer didn't need to manage and provision the virtual machine where they are started their uh, developing the application. In addition, some providers have to pay as you go price. As you go pricing in a sense, as you much you are going to use in the services or the, in the, of the past, then you have to pay regarding that all services only. Okay, in which the vendor only charges for the computing resources used by the application. Usually saving the customer's money ease of licensing. Uh, past providers handle all the licensing uh, for the operating system and development tools, everything uh, else including the platform, whatever the uh, included in the Vendor lock. Vendor login is what? It is uh, uh, very hard to reach the past providers that what? Application in the building using the vendor's tools and it also specify that all the things in the very frequently that you can uh, lock in these all the services okay and vendor dependency this is depends on the vendor the important resource involved in changing the past that is basically depend on the vendors that what are the services they want to provide you and uh, is that all services are available or not it is vendor make uh, companies more dependent on their current vendors a small change in vendor Internal process or infrastructure could have huge impact on the performance of the application design. Okay, security and the compliance check. Security is uh, very high in the past to designing the software or the applications, isn't it? So uh, there is uh, uh, it also makes it difficult to fully access and test the security measures protecting the applications and data. So company have to comply with the with the strict data security regulations and will find the compliance and the additional extra external vendors will add more hurdles uh, to do it. So these are all the things so security is also very easy to handle all the data which is used in the development of the big list applications in the past. Okay. So these all topics were uh, these topics which I have discussed today in the past the past, what is the past, how the uh, past is uh, used and what is the services included into the past and what is the benefits and the features of the past, why the developers use the past, these are all topics I have discussed in this session. So in the next session I will discuss the past, uh, what is the infrastructure and the services and uh, you can record these topics with many more books, standard books and also the many more sites like the cloud sites and uh, uh, into these books like the basic introduction to the books various books you can easily do and please do a hands on demo on the Amazon web service which I will uh, make you understand in the practical session in your game I will take the uh, examples of this okay thank you